Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Victoria, and if you noticed my missing nails, um, no you didn't. So, my name is Victoria. I am a 22 year old woman of transgender experience and I make mostly LGBT content here on YouTube. If that's your thing, hit the subscribe button down below so that you never miss out on a new upload. High school. Everybody hates it unless you peaked in high school, in which case it was probably the best time of your life. High school is tough enough as it is. Add being trans on top of that and you have a recipe for stress. But that is where I come in. So as most of you know, I came out at age 14 at the beginning of my sophomore year in high school. Now, if you're interested in hearing the whole coming out spiel and all of that, I will link a video right up here detailing all of my coming out experiences. This was a while ago. So this is before Caitlyn Jenner. This is before Lover and Cox in the cover of Times, before we had so many more movements that made people more aware of what trans people and who trans people are. I felt so ostracized and I really could use some guidance. And I think most trans girls in early stages of transition could use some guidance. I was really lost and I only had YouTube to turn to. So if that's you watching this right now, hi. Hi, how are ya? I'm your trans sister and I am living, breathing proof that it does get better. I have so many different topics that I could touch on in regards to being trans in high school. So if you want this to be a series, please let me know. I would love to. Anything from dealing with bullying, helping faculty accommodate trans students better, you know, story times because I have so many story times about, you know, faculty or dating or anything really so let me know in the comments down below I have a ton to share with you but this video is going to focus on my experience as a whole and I'll be giving you some tips and advice to help any general young trans person I am speaking from the point of view of someone that transitioned from male to female at a young age in a conservative area of a liberal state in the United States. I also graduated in 2015 so there are plenty of things that might have changed along the way so without further ado let's get on into today's video My experience of coming out and transitioning in a small rural high school was, in a word, difficult. Um, and that's to put it lightly. I grew up in a small farming town. My school was literally in the middle of a turf field. You would drive and drive, it's all woods, then all of a sudden it's turf fields, and then it's woods, and then it's our school, and then it's a turf field. I remember in elementary school, actually, we had the school closed a couple times because there were cows loose in the school. So, that was fun. If you know me, you know that I am someone that's always been unapologetically myself. Like, while everyone else was wearing shit kicker work boots and camo, I was wearing my hair emo and spiked out like to here. I had two colorful sort of belts on. I would wear tight shirts and tight skinny jeans. Like you can tell me nothing. So I was used to being the center of attention and the butt of all jokes. Um, Cause you know how accepting and kind preteens and teens are. So I was already the butt of every joke. I was already very visible and different because I've always had the mentality that life isn't worth living if you aren't living it for yourself. I will say, I thought the bullying was bad as a feminine boy. Um, honey, I had a big storm coming for when I transitioned. <laughs> I had kids spitting on me, throwing trash at me, shoving me in the hallways, screaming out obscenities. I even had a student-run school-endorsed scavenger hunt, and one of the items on the list was get a picture with a tranny. So that was a really fun way to spice up my academia. There were also plenty of faculty members that didn't like me or agree with what you know I was doing, including the principal of my school. Oh, she makes me so mad every time I think about that woman. But that is a totally different story involving my parents, the school board, attorneys from GLAD, and literally the news. Um, I was on the news just for basically being trans. So that was told you I came from a small town. But with that being said, I did have a good support base. I had some friends that would stick with me. I had some peers that would stand up for me when I was being bullied. And I had some faculty members that were actually huge helps and I'm still connected with to this day. That is the most important piece of advice that I can give you to have a strong foundation of people and a strong support system. Whether it's your friends, your family, faculty members, a counselor, it's important to know that you're not alone and that people love you. When my family and I decided it was time for me to start socially and medically transitioning, we brought a letter to my school letting them know that, you know, my name is Victoria. I, it, at the time, wasn't legally changed, so we asked that they could change it on the roster and refer to me as she, her pronouns. They told us that they were not legally allowed to do that, that there was no way that we 
we could do that. You know, it's it, it's inf infringing on our records and whatever. That was straight up untrue. So it is very important that you know your rights as a trans student in your area. When it comes to bathrooms and locker rooms and facilities, this is where it gets really hazy for a lot of trans students and this really depends on your area. So first of all, like I said, you need to know your rights as a trans student in your area. And now that you know those rights, you need to fight for equality, fight to keep those rights, fight to have the same rights as every other student. Before I was able to use the correct facilities, I would use the nurse bathroom or the staff bathroom and not only did that make me feel weird and ostracized because I was the only one using those bathrooms. It also interfered with my learning because I would literally just to go pee, I would go from one end of the school all the way to the other end of the school and have to walk all the way back. Meanwhile, I probably missed a lesson. I might have missed a worksheet. Like it was genuinely infringing on my education. I would pass by five bathrooms on the way to the other side of the school because I wasn't allowed to use them. Oh, I'm getting really pressed. I haven't had any issue with that whatsoever since graduating high school. I mean, also, I'm lucky enough to where I generally pass. I walk into a place and people don't, you know, point me out and she's like, is she trans? Because like, I mean, are we really talking? Are we, are we talking about femininity, maybe? Are we talking about possibility? I remember hating school so much. And I remember going into school every day on the bus, like it would feel like I was walking into a fight, and I was a lot of the time. Like, I would walk into school and have people yelling obscenities at me. Like, I already said at the beginning of this video, you guys already know, I would get people literally harassing me all day long, every day. So I took action and I did two things. First, I realized that I didn't have to fight all of my battles alone as a student. That's why they have faculty there. That's why they have authority figures. In fact, there was this one man who was the Dean of Students at my school who helped me so much throughout my entire high school experience. And after a certain point, like someone would do something and you know my ass would get right up, go and snitch on him. I don't care. I, like, I'm not, protecting any street cred, y'all already hate me anyway. So why am I gonna sit here while you're throwing trash at me? Because either you normally, aside from snitching, you have two options. Retaliation, which gives them exactly what they want. And of course you don't wanna give a bully a reaction. And on the other hand, you can ignore it, which that helps sometimes, but that allows them to continue doing it. So when there was an actual repercussion, when people would be throwing trash at me and then they would come in and get suspended, and it would be on their college transcripts, like they kind of thought twice about doing it again. Second, the thing that got me through high school the most is the fact that I didn't go to all of high school. And here's what I mean by that. I'm not saying skip, baby. I did quite the opposite of skip. Well, I, I did skip a couple times, um, but what I did was I actually graduated in three years. So this, I don't know if this is an option for everybody. My school had two options if you wanted to graduate early. You could either do your senior year of high school and your freshman year of college at our state's community college, and those count as one year, but you're still technically in high school. The other option, which is what I did, my school had certain specifications you had to meet as a senior in order to graduate, and that is having enough credits, having specific classes under your belt, and having a portfolio. Now, I didn't want to still technically be in high school, and I sure as hell wasn't sitting through another year at that school. So, outside of school, I did an internship. I also did online schooling outside of school. I also took English 11 and 12 in my senior year. I also took gym and health 11 and 12. I got my portfolio done. I did literally everything. I took all of the junior classes and senior classes in one and I had to get a paper signed from my principal approving my early graduation and baby, she wanted me out of that school so bad she couldn't sign that paper fast enough. She said, yeah, I graduated high school in three years, got the exact same degree I would have gotten if I stayed for all four and now I have a bachelor of science from a university, so. And lastly, if all else fails, my number one tip is to fake it till you make it. And that is my motto for pretty much everything. I was a very insecure person. You know, I was being bullied and bullies, of course, can sense when you're insecure and they prey on that. I would, on the bus ride to school and between every class, anytime I was not actively sitting at a desk, I had my headphones in blasting on my iPod Nano, because y'all know I had an iPod Nano scrolling on that, on that playlist, you know what I'm talking about? 
I had a playlist called Kim Kardashian. And it was all just like, it had like Britney Spears, it had um, Lil' Kim, it had like really anything to hype me up, like anything to make me feel like that bitch. And baby, it worked. Like I would walk in pretending that I was in a catwalk. I was literally that bitch walking down the hallways and people would be like, how are you so confident? Like you were always just like strutting and on the inside I was falling apart! I'm drowning, Michael Phelps can survive these waters. But people thought I was fine because I was in a music video in my head. The last thing that I will say that helped me a lot was to remember, no matter how much high school sucks, it ends. Like it feels your whole life, you're pretty much just like in kindergarten and then if you're in the United States, you're in kindergarten, middle school, junior high, high school, you are literally in school 24 seven and a lot of the times with these same people. But guess what? You graduate, yeah, you might go to college, you might whatever, but college is totally different from high school and it's, it'll be over. And then you'll never have to even see that building ever again. You won't have to talk to those teachers ever again. You don't gotta talk to anybody ever again. All right, guys, that was a general overview of my experience as a trans woman transitioning in high school. Like I said, it was not a great experience, but a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. If you wanna hear more about my experience, I have so many things to tell you about dating in high school as a trans person, about getting bullied, about that whole tea about me on the news, baby. You wanna know that video's coming. So please, if you have more suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It helps out my channel so much. And make sure you subscribe to my channel down below so you never miss out on a new video every single Wednesday. I will link all my social media in the description box down below, as well as my Amazon merch, Redbubble, and Teespring, so you can check out all of the LGBT merch that I've made just for you. All right, I love you guys so much. Until I see you next week, good luck. I love you. Bye.